The Adventures of Super Diaper Baby, Behind the Baby. Read on for the behind-the-scenes story about the making of this book. Pages from Steve Pilkey's sketchbook and more. The story behind the story. In case you didn't know, this book was really written by George and Harold's Altigo. Me, my name is Steve Pilkey. That's me on the right. George and Harold are very real characters to me. I based them both on myself when I was a kid. So when I started working on this book, I needed to become George and Harold in my imagination. I stopped being me and sort of let them take over. I let them create with the story they wanted without worrying about spelling or grammar or morally plots that would please adults. I was also inspired by the homemade comic books I received from kids every day. Their comics contain, sometimes contain poor grammar and misspelled words, and usually have bad guys who are disgusting in one way or another. But the amazing thing in the, is that these comics are made, a, all made for trilogy. I don't know how to pronounce that. Nobody forces those kids to make comic books. They just do it for fun. And there's always something wonderful about that kind of, of unprompted creativity. I'm only really trying to capture some of that energy in this book. Part 1. The Inspiration When I was making Captain Underpants and The Wrath of the Wicked Richie Woman, which contains free comics by George and Harold, I began to imagine how much fun it would be to do an entire book of comics. At first, I wanted to do a collection of short, unrelated comic stories by George and Harold. I wrote down a bunch of store ideas and uh, titles, but Super Diaper Baby... He didn't really appear until I began to draw sketches. This sketch was the beginning of everything. I liked the way the baby looked so much that I immediately decided to do a whole book about him. Spot 2. The Sketches When I first began to do work out a story, which I usually do in my head, it helps me draw the fish help me have visual references, so I like to draw sketches of the main characters and write down who they are and what the role they will play in the story. Here are my first character sketch sheets. Part 3. Figuring out the story. Usually, I find it helpful to make notes on the story before I write it. The next two pages are from an early draft. You will notice that these pages have pictures in the margins. I find that it's helpful to draw while I write, because I often get good ideas from my sketches. Part 4. The Storybooks I've created this book in a different way from most of my other books because the story and the art were more important than the writing. In fact, I didn't even write the text for the book until I figured out where the drawings were going to go. To do this, I created storyboards which are like a map of, of the book. They show, an illustrator, uh, they show an illustrator all of the pages of a book at once. Each little box on the next page represents a page in the book. The sketches inside each little box helped me decide how much room I had to put words on each page. Part 5. The Dummy after the storyboards were, were completed, I made a dummy, which is kind of like a rough draft, whereas uh, this is where I did most of the work on the book. If you look closely at the next group of pages, you'll see that I was still trying to figure out parts of the story at this stage. There are many differences between what appears in the dummy and what ended up in this book. Part 6. The Editing During the editing process, changes often need to be made. I decided to drop several page panels from Chapter 1 because I felt that they slowed down the pace of the story. Part 7. The Cover Then it was trying to, time to draw the cover. Here is, the spe here is a pencil sketch. Finally, it was time to start painting. Have you read your underpants today?